What's going on everybody, Ian here for Cult of Mac, and this is our first look at the new ECG feature of the Apple Watch Series 4. An electrocardiogram, abbreviated ECG or EKG, is a test that records the electrical activity of the heart. It can be used by medical professionals to diagnose a multitude of health issues, including atrial fibrillation or irregular heart rhythm. With Apple Watch Series 4, Apple updated the sensors in the device to allow for ECG tests. This gives you the ability to check for irregularities and even share the results with your doctor. To get started with the new feature, you'll open up the Health app on your iPhone, which should be running at least iOS 12.1.1. There you should see a welcome screen to set up the ECG app. From there you may be asked to enter some information, and then you'll see the details about what an ECG is, how it works, what the results may mean, and a disclaimer of things the watch can't tell you. From there, head over to your Series 4 watch, running at least watchOS 5.1.2, and open the ECG app. If prompted, confirm your wrist preference, and then place your finger on the digital crown. The entire test takes 30 seconds and shows each beat of your heart as it records its data. After the reading is complete, you'll see a basic summary which, assuming everything is normal, should read sinus rhythm. If you're curious to see your results or want to share them with a medical professional, you can head back to the Health app on your iPhone and get all the details. While there, you can see your heart rate, the readout of the ECG, the date and time of the test, the device used to test it, and an option to export it as a PDF, which could then be sent to your doctor for further analysis. And that pretty well sums up the ECG feature of the Apple Watch Series 4. It's simple and painless, and could prove extremely valuable for some. If you have an Apple Watch health related story, we'd love to hear from you. You can either get in touch in the comments below, or send us an email at the link in the description. I'm Ian for Cult of Mac, and we'll catch you in the next one.